So we're here on board the Rustler 36 PRB with Damien Ugulu. So Damien, why are you taking part in the 2022 Golden Globe race? Dans le technique. So uh, it combines the technical exper expertise and maritime expertise and the, the spirit of adventure. So and combined it all together makes the desire to take part in the race. What advantage do you think you have over the rest of the fleet? Okay. Uh, so the, the main idea is like Damien's preparation. Like he was, he has had a lot of, a lot of time to get prepared, and also uh, Damien has like spent, like he took part in many other solo races, like for example the Figaro race, like multiple times of single-handed racing. So that combined it gives the advantage. And what storm tactics are you going to use in the race? And are you going to use drogues or warps? En fait, yeah. Uh, okay, there are different techniques. Uh, like normally, Damien has like the floating anchor uh, at the bow drag. A drag, yeah. But uh, the, it depends on the type of the boat and type of the sea. And like, in southern sea, the waves are different compared to, to the like to other seas. So it makes sense to like combine to like different approaches. Damien is going to adapt along the along the race and apply different techniques. The main one is the drug, but he will adapt on the go. Okay. And why did you choose the Rustler 36 for the Golden Globe race? Because uh, uh, so Damien has checked multiple models, uh, which both can take part in GGR. Uh, and uh, Rustler 36 does have an advantage because it's like big enough, uh, bro broad enough and high enough. And given that characteristics, it uh, can carry quite a lot of weight uh, of like all the things that could should be downloaded to the boat and still stay like floating well, despite all the like all the heavy things that are on board. And what changes have you made to the boat to get her ready for the race? Yeah, beaucoup, beaucoup de modification. Uh... So yeah, there are actually many changes in the boat. The main ones are that this one, it has a new mast, new engine, new winches, and clutches. Uh, the cockpit construction, like here above the above the cockpit, is also like brand new. And uh, Damien has also worked to change the the door in the front part of the bow. And he, he made like he thought through these changes himself a lot with the other person together, and he made these changes. Invested really his time in this to do that. Um, can I ask why has he gone for this kind of Dodger protection, this cockpit protection? En fait, ça apporte. It's like really like quite understandable. So it's not only for comfort, but it's also really for performance because even you have like a strong waves, like high waves or strong wind, you. We have a like a dry area, a reasonably dry area, to work with all the pinches to try to trim the sails, and you can keep like both performing regardless of the weather. Is he worried about windage at all with this kind of construction? Pas plus de risque. Well, uh, yes, this like this thing. If the boat goes like overkill or. Of course, the boat will get back, and uh, even if this thing is like uh, broken. There are many other like ways to keep the boat performing regardless of this uh, like this damage. It does have enough resistance to not to be broken actually. Uh, so the thing uh, about the cockpit it's actually safe enough uh, because uh, Damien has already tried it in very strong wind like roughly 50 knots and it doesn't inform like the boat is heavy enough to sustain and not to react to this thing as a, like an extra sale, so it will not enforce the risk of overkill.